Hi guys, it's Eunice from Theory of Simple. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick tutorial on how I built this garden workbench area for potting my plants from leftover wood and pallets, and I did it all for under $10. So I'm in an area of my garden that gets quite a bit of shade from this Hollywood juniper that's up here and there's just this little area here that's not being really useful so I'm trying to see if I can put in a potting bench and just a little garden area for me to work in and make it really kind of cute and uh, useful at the same time. I have an 8 foot by 8 foot square area here and it does have access to water so I can add a sink later if I need to. Just have to make sure I get all of my measurements correct because I only have a limited amount of wood. This is a bunch of leftover wood from building the pergola, so I'm going to see if I can put it to good use and build a potting bench. Because the area where we're putting the workbench is not level, we started our build over on the concrete area and used this deck box to help us keep everything plumb, level, and square. We had limited lumber, so it was measured three times and cut once. These scrap pieces were used later to create the shelves along the fence. The front legs were made by four by sixes and the back legs were part of the shelf support which were two by tens. For the framing structure we used these cabinet screws and these long deck screws to keep everything together securely. Once we had the heavier side portion completed, we carried it over so we could finish and complete the build over in the garden corner. And here we're getting the basic framing put together in the garden corner. It's not even here, but since the legs are plumb and level, we knew that once we had everything marked, we would just have to screw everything together. We ripped down a 2x8 to create some framing bottom supports. These will also support the slats for the bottom shelf as well. We used the leftover piece of 2x10 to create a fixture that would give us uh, equal height on the shelves on both sides. And now we're just going to measure these 2 by 10 lengths to get some shelves in for our bench. This definitely is a two-man job and I was so happy to have my honey here to help me put my garden bench together. Here I'm measuring the tabletop to see if I could get some plywood that would fit, but we didn't have any plywood, so I was going to have to find another plan to create a tabletop. All we had to do was put in our second shelf and then our framing structure is complete for our garden bench. 
Okay, so my basic framework is done, as you can see here, but I've kind of run out of lumber that I had left over from the pergola. I have some small pieces left that I can use as slats or shelving, but I need something to give me a top and some shelves on the bottom, so I might have to go and buy some lumber at Home Depot. I was able to get a couple of 2x4s and 1x3 pine slats. So wood being expensive as it is right now they wanted eighty dollars for a piece of half inch plywood so i got these pallets for two dollars each and i'm going to use them and take them apart to make the top surface of this planter's bench now it was time just to do my final measurements and make my cuts on the slats to see if i had enough wood to make a top for my garden bench To make the cutting go faster, I used some clamps to clamp together two boards so I could cut two boards at one time. Okay, so this wood I got from Home Depot is cut to size, but there's a lot of things like staples and things like that here that I'll have to remove, so I'll do some work on that. I also don't have enough to cover the whole top of this table, so David's right now taking apart pallets to see if we can salvage some of that wood to fill in to create a top for the table and also a shelf for underneath to hold some things. The good news is there is enough wood from the pallets for us to create the tabletop and in general most of it was hardwood so we're going to save the wood that I got from Home Depot to create the bottom shelf on the table. Once I had them laid out I numbered each board so I knew the correct order for the fit. Then I snapped a chalk line so we would have a guide for the skill saw to cut the front of the boards all even. All right, starting to come together. We've taken apart the pallets and we have all of them lined up and chalk lined ready to cut. I'm using bags of garden soil to hold all of these slats in place. We're using some transparent wood finish here to put some finish on these pallet boards to protect them from the weather. We use this on our pergola and it will help tie in the color to the pressure treated lumber we've used for the frame. I didn't have a lot of wood sealers, so I did the tops first and then the sides, and then whatever I had left, I then covered the bottom of the boards. We used this multi-material screw to screw down all of the pallet slats onto the frame and I pre-drilled my holes because these were hardwood and I needed them to be a little bit easier for me to screw down. I made a wood block jig so that I had even spacing on the slats on my bottom shelf. I took some hooks that I found from a closet remodel and used them inside of the different parts of framing to hold tools and such.
Next, it was time to start loading my workbench up with all of my tools and baskets and get ready to use it. These adjustable swivel hooks are perfect because they allow me to hang baskets on the side of my garden bench. I used some leftover shelving and some brackets to make some little shelves that I put onto the fence that's adjacent to my garden bench. This provides additional storage and gives this area a little bit of pop of color. All right, so let's take a look at the final reveal of my garden workbench and shelves in my little garden corner. I am absolutely thrilled with how this workbench turned out and also with the shelves on the fence. This provides great storage and a workplace underneath some nice shade in my garden. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how I built this wonderful potting bench for my yard just using leftover lumber and pallets and just some little Yankee ingenuity because I didn't have any plans I just kind of winged it if you like this video I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that always helps the algorithm on YouTube until the next time please get outside enjoy yourself grow your own food and I'll see you guys in the next video